Hi, my name is Charles Marshall. I'm a software consultant and member of the Walters Kluwer CCH training and consulting team. Welcome to this video on setting your firm up to use CCH eSign to capture clients' signatures on IRS Form 8879 and other documents. As your firm's eSign administrator, one of your first setup tasks is to create your firm's eSign users. And in this video, you're going to learn how to create CCH eSign users, how user roles function in CCH eSign, and how to customize user roles in CCH eSign. As your firm's eSign administrator, you've been provided a user ID and password to access the AssureSign website. AssureSign is CCH's partner for the administration of CCH eSign. To create CCH eSign users, start on the AssureSign homepage and click the Administration tab. On the User screen, click the New button. You're required to enter an email address as the username for the user you're creating. If the user has been set up in Office Manager as a firm member who signs tax returns, use the same email address entered for the user on the Setup Configure Staff dialog. The first name and last name fields are also required fields. Select a role for the user from the menu list in the Role field. I'm going to discuss roles later in this video. You'll also need to enter a password for the new user or you can allow the system to generate a random password for the user. When you elect to have a password randomly generated, the send login information to user via email checkbox is checked automatically. You can establish security preferences such as requiring new users to change their password after the next login on the settings screen. Security preferences are not addressed in this video. Click Save to complete the user creation process. Now I'll address how user roles function within AssureSign. Your AssureSign account comes with three preset roles, Administrator, Power User, and Limited User. Each role comes with an inherited or default set of permissions. Users assign a role, inherit the permissions established for that role. In other words, Roles determine what a user can and cannot do within eSign. Here's a summary of the permissions granted to each of the preset roles. The administrator role allows complete access to all eSign functions and documents. The power user role allows access to all eSign documents, but does not allow access to administrative functions. And the limited user role limits access to documents created by the user. Once you've assigned a role to a user, you can edit that role's default permissions for the user. I'm going to demonstrate this by changing one of the default Power User permissions for James A. Accountant. Starting on the User screen, I'll click Edit for James A. Accountant. By default, a Power User is denied permission to add or edit all document templates for the firm. I'm going to select Allow to grant this permission to James A. Accountant in his Power User role. And I'll click Save to save my changes. If needed, you can create new AssureSign roles. I'll demonstrate the role creation process by creating a Report Administrator role. From the Administration screen, I'll select Roles and then click the New link to open the New Roles dialog. All permissions are set to Deny on this dialog. I'll start by entering Report Administrator in the Role field. I want the user assigned to this role to have all rights with respect to the reporting functions within AssureSign, but not have any other rights. To accomplish this, I'll select Allow for all the permissions in the reporting area of the dialog, leave all the other permissions set to Deny, and then click Save to complete the role creation process. Before I end this video on creating CCH eSign firm users and user roles, I'd like to point out that it is not intended as a substitute for formal training on CCH eSign. The Walters Kluwer CCH Training and Consulting Department offers two web-based courses on CCH eSign and I encourage you and other firm members to take one or both courses. One course is titled eSign for Administrators and the other eSign for Document Senders. Please call this telephone number for course scheduling and other information. I hope you found the information in this video useful. Thanks for watching. For additional CCH training resources, click the link below to visit our training and consulting webpage.